Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage. What we're going to be doing today is a quick repair on a battery powered mower. So stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel, just want to welcome you here and hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like what you see. Also, check out DIY Apprentice on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post lots of pictures and videos on those platforms before I post anything on YouTube. And occasionally I'll post things on those platforms I don't post on YouTube. Also, check out the website at DIYApprentice.com. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. So what we're going to be doing today is a quick repair of a battery powered Greenworks mower that wouldn't start. So long story short, one of the nuts on the blades was lost so this mower hadn't been used in a while. And I was able to help my relative find a brand new nut. It's a left threading nut so that's why it was so hard to find and also it's serrated. Found a new nut, put new blades on the mower and then when we went to start it we had some intermittent starting issues with this battery powered mower. So that's what we're going to be addressing today. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the Greenworks 25302 battery powered mower that my relative uses. The reason I needed to repair it quickly is because her other mower is too heavy to move around to certain parts of the yard. I've already completed the repair, so I'm just going to retrace my steps. To start the mower, the start button is depressed and the bale is pulled and held to keep the mower running. When I first looked at this mower, we could get it to start manually by tugging on the cable near the deck, but then it quit working altogether. So I figured the issue was somehow related to the cable. Both batteries are fully charged and did not show faults when placed on the charger. I first removed the two 40 volt batteries and the red key. To get at the end of the cable and find the problem, I started by removing the two Phillips screws attaching the height adjustment lever to the stem. Next, I removed the eight Torx 20 screws holding the plastic cover in place. I then carefully lifted the cover and tilted it to the right when facing the front of the mower, being careful not to tug on the wiring. Normally a click of the starter switch should be heard when the bale is pulled which was not happening. I removed the switch covers for Torx 20 screws. The cable is attached to a plastic motor switch actuator and I suspected that the hook for the coil at the end of the cable had gotten stretched, causing the starter button to not travel the last roughly 1 16th of an inch needed to engage it. I disconnected two of the wires on the left side of the switch when facing the front of the mower and separated the switch actuator from the switch. To close up the hook at the end of the coil, I opened up the jaws of a pair of vice grips to a little larger than the coil. Place the vice grips over the coil, then turn the screw in the vice grips handle. I put the actuator back on the switch, reconnected the wires, then reinstalled the switch's cover with the four Torx 20 screws. At this point, it's obviously a good idea to test out the mower before reinstalling the deck's cover. Last up is to reinstall the deck with the 8 Torx 20 screws and reattach the height adjustment handle with the two Phillips screws.
All right, so there you have it. There is just a really quick repair on the Greenworks 25302 mower. So hopefully this information was helpful, and thanks for watching.